course, both of these teams tonight have been struggling, looking to uh, get things back on track, grab a hold of the rudder, and, and get a win. You know what, Kevin? Sometimes winning can solve all ills. And so you're right. Both of these teams have hit a rough patch in their season. And so what has to happen here is there has to be great leadership. And one night, just one nice game, quality huh? win can sometimes turn a whole season and the way it feels around. You walk back into that locker room, you dap each other up, and you say, hey, mm -hmm. we got on the right side tonight. All fueled up and ready. Ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. Williams is out there with the captain. Then there's Buckets. Then there's Buckets. And it's Alexander in at the center, filling out the middle. It's his first trip to the line. And the first one drops. Good on both. Lee with the ball. To the wing right side. Big smooth the pass to Doc. They get a hand on it. Pushing it up. And here we go. The big dunk at the end of the break. And guys got careless with the ball there and the turnover leads to the big stuff. Once he came up right with the steal, he went straight on the attack. Fantastic anticipation. Then he shows major explosiveness converting at the other end. Here's Lee. Alexander grabs the board. And here they come. The captain passes to Bowden. Williams trying to break free. Here's Alexander. Shot clock at six to the paint. There's Williams. First shot, first best. He's out of the blocks fast. You know, that's exactly how you play big inside. Take advantage of the size advantage that you have. Pass to Ryan. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. Alexander grabs the board. Gone two or three here to start out the game. Here's the captain. Passes to Williams. The jump hook. And the shot goes in. Williams has got his second bucket. They're not having much success at all right now. Kevin, I would shuffle the lineup if, if I were their coach a little bit just to try to find something that works. And his guys are getting frustrated. Coach just really kind of needs to calm them down. I think, Greg, they've got to continue to believe that the next shot is going to go in. He can hopefully communicate that effectively to them. Now we'd like to take this moment to show you the teams that a year ago made a trademark of scoring points off turnovers. And this team, in terms of scoring off of turnovers, that, that became the identity. I mean, they really look to disrupt and cause problems defensively. And boy, do they take advantage on the other end. Ryan the pass to Doc. Here's Big Smooth. Lee outside. Just five on the clock. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Down to five on the shot clock. Bowden, the pass to the captain. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. And a really smart defender there. He just reads the play, wastes no time trying to blow it up. Almost like he was anticipating the play call, right? You love the hustle. Ooh, that has to be a relief. First bucket was a long time coming. Well, you've got to be resilient when you start off that slow. Kept pounding away, and finally they make a bucket. Buckets passes to Alexander. Down low. Here's Williams. That's in, and he's now three for three and looking sharp. 
And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Knock the pass to Big Smooth. Now the dish to lead. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Opening night of the regular season. Blue sky for every team, Doris. Optimism is high. Players thinking about all the possibilities ahead. No doubt. It's a time of tremendous optimism for both the teams and the fans of these teams. And the culmination of the work you put into the offseason, who's improved their skill level, who's added a dimension to their offensive game. We're all salivating for the start <laughs> of this year. Cannot wait. Free throw good lead. No good on the second free throw. Gone four of seven from the field, shooting over fifty percent. Buckets. Misses the three. Gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Here is Doc. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. To the middle. And here's the break. Finished off the break. And unfortunately, we've seen a few too many of those. A lack of concentration, a turnover, and an easy bucket in transition. Here is Doc. And the pass to Big Smooth. Here is Doc. Down to five on the shot clock. Elbow shot is on the way. That's short off the rim. Gone five of nine from the field here in the first. Here's the captain. That doesn't fall either. He's missed his first two shots tonight. Inside. Alexander grabs the board. Alexander's got five rebounds tonight. Here's the captain. Pass to Bowden. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Times late in the season, Doris, we see the expensive vets bought out of their contracts. Often they sign for a, you know, a cheap price for a true contender, and that affects parity among postseason qualifiers. No doubt about it, Kevin. It really brings into very sharp focus the value of a quality GM because the rich can get richer, yes. and it can tilt things toward the top teams. I don't mind it, Kevin. Part of the reason these players Take agree a to a buyout a in the break. first place Two is shots. the opportunity to choose their next situation it is within the rules and therefore I have no problem with it I like it as well and the first one at the line is good At the line it's all about consistency with him his routine his stroke it never wavers timeout timeout A minute 50 left in the first. Top and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First trip to the line for him here.
That free throw, no good. Johnson, he's checked in for buckets. Good on the second free throw. There's a minute 47 left in the first quarter. On the wing, Johnson. Turner looking around. Williams up on top. Passes it to P. Just five to shoot. And a missed layup. Just tentative in the paint, lacking a little bit of confidence, allowed the defender to recover and contest that shot. Here is Doc. He's guarded by Johnson. And there's the pass to Doc. And now here comes Williams leading the break. Quick shot there, and it's off target. Here's ABC. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Pass to Doc. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. He misses the free throw. And he's good on the second. 44 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And here is Johnson. Outside Turner. Passes it to Pete. Six to shoot. Back to Turner. Over Evans. Williams trying to break free. Misses off the left iron. Boy, just enough defensive attention to throw that shot off target. The offensive rebound. ABC passes to Brock. That's tipped, and they'll keep possession. And that one is good. Eight seconds left here in the opening quarter. And Turner kicks to Williams. Shoots over Brown. Some sour defense from Brown. And so it's the visiting team bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They've been playing some ferocious defense. We come back right after this. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? Just playing suffocating defense. That's been the difference here for them. Well, the commitment is evident, and they are simply phenomenal at their aggression on the defensive end right now. Here is Doc. We've got Williams. Johnson is out there with Turner. Then it's P, and it's Burns, and at the center position. Easy breezy passes to Rainman. Here is Doc. He's guarded by Williams. Four on the clock. The pass to Rain. Here's Easy Breezy. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. Now Johnson. He kicks to Turner. Lets it go with a three. Back to Johnson. Goes back up. Tips it. And Williams is right there. Williams has got eight points. Oh, and a nice job of turning that miss into two points on the tip end. Hustle points, I believe they call them. Hustle points right there. Here is Doc. ABC passes to Evans. No good from 11 feet. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. 
to the paint. Here's P. That falls. Nice feed that time from Turner. How good is that pass? Certainly makes the offensive opportunity easy. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Here is Doc. He's guarded by Johnson. Pass to Evans. Pass to ABC. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Gone two of four, shooting the ball here in the second. Buckets covered by Lee. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Gone one of three to start out the second quarter. ABC passes to Lee. Three pointer on the way. He's now one for two with that bucket. is it to turn it. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's the captain. His fourth shot. His fourth miss. Still looking for his touch tonight. Shot from 12. But he recovers it. The pass to ABC. Another shot. And he drops that one in. ABC has got his first bucket in this one. Evans against Turner. Pass to Buckets. Here's the captain. Shot clock at five. I'm deep. The shot that time, not on target. Here's ABC. They grab their own miss. And he goes in for the dunk. And that's an example of willpower right there, guys. I mean, grabbing the offensive rebound and then going back up strong. And GA in a close game like this where every possession is critical, that could prove to be a very big one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he saw he had a huge opportunity to help his team. Score is tight knit, and he comes through. Here's Burns. No good, unable to end this run. You know what? His finishing ability, not really at the level that you would expect from a pro, but he's going to have to start playing with more force. Now here's Evans. Kicks it to Lee. With a floater. Fires the three, and that's a foul called on Money. That's his first foul. So both teams changing it up here. gone just two of eight shooting here in the second quarter passes to Burns buckets covered by Lee fires from the line and off the front iron and in it goes crafty move he recognizes the size disadvantage and the mid-range is close enough I'll tell you, that's really clever because it's not easy to get that mid-range off over a guy who's got a size advantage. He made it look easy. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, it is the era of positionless basketball, but how exactly did we get here? Well, new defensive rules at the turn of the century encouraged face-up scoring, motion-based offense, and guard play over isolation and post-ups. As a result, offensive roles have become more interchangeable. It has become a, a positionless game now. David, thank you very much. Chris, when it comes to filling in the rest of a roster, the pieces around your star players, what qualities 
you think these teams are looking for or would you be looking for in a role play? Well, I think one of the first things you have to think about, well, what are the best attributes of my stars? So is my star a great driver creator? Then I need to put great shooters around him to enhance his driving and playmaking abilities. But the other part of a role player is you've got to be willing to do the dirty work, to sacrifice the headlines and dig in on the defensive end, to absorb the best matchup of the opponent every night. And that means sometimes you're going to get scored on five, six times in a row. That's how good the offensive players in the league are. So there are many qualities, but those are just a couple off the top of my head, Kevin. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. I'll tell you, this guy will not stop pouring it on. It doesn't matter what approach they've tried to use against him. He has had an answer for everything. Here's the captain. Kept alive. Pass to Alexander. Here's the captain. Covered by Lee. To the inside. Second chance shot. And he lays it up and in. Six points for A-Train. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Lee outside. To the middle. Here's Big Smooth. And that's how it's done. I mean, find <laughs> that hole in the D and then go hard to the right. Maybe that hole was a little bigger than it should have been. Yeah, with the score this close, guys, I am shocked at the lack of defensive aggressiveness. That has to be shored up. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. The home team leading by just two. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. Taking a look at this home squad, Kenny, what do you think? Well, there was one pleasant surprise, and that was the bench. They gave them a big lift. Those guys came into the game, they did all the dirty work, and they scored baskets. And Shaq, let's get your input on the visiting team. Aggressive. I called them up earlier. I like it. They're taking it hard to the rack, dictating the pace, setting the physical tone. You're not going to get that by launching threes all night. Everybody knows that. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. A fantastic game from Little General in this one. And they haven't needed a lot of shots to get their points. Just tremendous efficiency here in the first half. I think you can look to specifically the patience and the shot creation. Really solid effort. Being at 50% in a decent group. They've got the mayor. Jay out there with Big Smooth, and there's Doc, and it's Lee in at the two-guard spot. Being a meager 37% for the game. The captain out there with Williams. Then there's Buckets. Then there's A-Train, and it's Buckets in at the one spot. Here's the captain. Four on the shot clock. Second shot opportunity. Got a piece of it. They've got Doc. Big smooth out there with Jay, and then it's Little General, and it's Ryan in at the three. Yeah, good interior D there prevents the deuce. Well, if he wasn't there, that shot's going in. Love the effort on the defensive end. Williams is out there with Alexander. Then there's the captain. Then there's Buckets, and it's Buckets in at the shooting guard. To the middle, stolen away, and Williams with the clear path to the hoop. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one.
free throw is good now leading by one. And Williams drops them both. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Lee passes to Dot. Here's the mayor. He kicks to Lee. Just five on the clock. Here's the pass to Wright. The three-pointer off the mark. Well, an 0 for 3 start to the second half. They're going to have to start tightening things up on the offensive end. Off target from the wing. They've got to start working for better shots. Just 1 for 4 in the second half so far. Here's Tuck. No good from Lee. Gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker room with the break. Pass to Alexander. Williams trying to break free. Alexander gets the bucket. Alexander's got 11 points. Well, he's got wonderful touch from deep, right? And with his size, a defender has a hard time even bothering him on the perimeter. And Doris, to try and improve the flow of the games, teams now have fewer timeouts. Players have to be faster about retaking the court after stoppages. I'm assuming you're like me. All good things, right? I agree, Kevin. And I think what people don't know is the impetus from this actually came from the coaches themselves. Rick Carlisle said, listen, we need to pick up the pace of play because we'd like our games to fit in a certain time frame. And listen, when you've got the leadership at the top in Adam Silver, who always makes clear that game flow is one of his focuses and that this is an entertainment medium and let's please our fans, you're going to make the right choices. Big smooth, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. On Wednesday and then on Saturday, and, you know, nobody loves playing on the road, but it does offer a good chance to see exactly what your team is made of. This team is going to find out a lot about itself over the next stretch of games. And it's a foul called on Doc. That's foul number two for him. Brown is checked in for big smooth. Little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Passes it to P. No good. That's what we're talking about in terms of the activity level defensively. You got to protect the rim. No, exactly, Greg. Especially when the ball is that deep inside. You've got to respect how he altered that shot. It's tipped. Alexander passes to P. to Alexander. Pocket six. Turner with it. He's covered by Brown. Shots good by Turner. Turner's got his first three points of the game. Not too much respect shown to him by the defenders. Time out, time out. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Yeah, he, he's got to make some adjustments here. Just too easy to score in the lane against them right now. But Greg, no resistance, right? They're allowing them to get any kind of shot they want close. That simply can't happen. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes have gone. ABC passes to Brown. Here is Doc. Five on the clock. Will it go? Sinks the triple. Doc's got five. Well, you know, a lack of effort defensively, and he gets a very good look from deep. Now the pass to Williams. And no one able to grab it as it goes out of bounds.
here's Burns. Off the inbound, no good. And even three on three break. Here's Evans. Tries again. No good on that one. Good D by Williams. Down low. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Man, can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. No good on that one. Johnson, he's checked in for buckets. And he sinks the second. Going to somewhat so far, 4 of 10 on their shots in the second half so far. Back to Turner. And Turner throws it down. And how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty <laughs> on that dunk? A nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Evans against Johnson. Evans right side. Knocked away. Taken away by Williams. And now in transition. Here's Williams. Here we go. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. First one falls. Jay's checked in for Evans. And both free throws good for Williams. Impeccable from the line since halftime. Just 39% from the field struggling to find that net. Picked off in midair. To the paint. Here's Burns. Makes it off the glass. Six points for him. He just punishes you on the backboard. I mean, it's pretty deflating for a team trailing big and still giving up second chance opportunities. You know, I think he senses a team on the ropes, and he's looking to put them away. That killer instinct is shining through once again. Yeah, easy call. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And he makes the first. So both teams making some changes here. He's perfect from the line this time. We've got 128 left in the third. Turner against Lee. Jay, he's guarded by Williams. Five on the clock to end the run. And it comes off the front of the rim. And as he squares up for mid-range, the defender right in his face. Well, classic example of crowding the shooter, not letting him get comfortable in the mid-range. And he gets it to go. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Williams has gone 5 of 8 from the field, shooting over 60%. Pass to Money. Back to Lee. 
He can't get that one to fall. Good work defensively by Turner. Gotten half their shots to drop in the second half up to this point, going 7 of 14. Misses from short range. Bowden's gone 1 of 4 from the field. Here's Brown. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three point play chance for him. And racing up the court, you have a number of options and a great decision there. I love how he took the initiative, right? You took charge of the opportunity and made the right decision. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Big smooth. He's checked in for money. And that one, good. Bowden's got his second bucket of the night. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Shot from 12. No good from Lee. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Eight points for Buckets. And so it's the visiting team holding a big 18-point lead to close the quarter. Well, they trailed by a bunch, but once they got going, the comeback was on. Back to the action after this word. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. 43% for the game. Big smooth out there with Jay. And there's Doc. Then there's the mayor. And it's Lee in at the two guard spot. Here's Turner on the mark with the 15 footer. From that in between range, they've been the much better team. Lee against Turner. Here's the mayor. Kicks it to Lee. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. Well, he doesn't quit on that play. Just stays with it and gets some easy points on the putback. That's nice. Outside Williams. Burns the pass to Turner. Pass to Williams. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And I like that they're not settling. Getting the ball on the interior. Eight of their last ten coming that way. Knock the pass to Big Smooth. Here's the mayor. And there's the pass to Doc. A three ball. Big Smooth the pass to Doc. Here's Big Smooth, pass to Doc. Second shot opportunity, and he sinks the layup. Oh, nice screen. Really a poor defensive reaction, and the obvious result. You simply can't give him that. Uh, you have to fight through the screen and at least get a hand in the face of the shooter. And really, whether you're up or down, it's a game of adjustments. Well, I like to see them mix it up a little bit. You've got to keep the opposition off balance. Clean. Beyond the arc. The shot missing. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. And really the story of the half. One team shooting it lights out. The other, the lights are just out. Yeah, that's right. You said it. They don't find a way to switch it back on. They're in trouble. Jay, the pass to Doc. Here's the mayor. Passes it to Big Smooth. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. Just five to shoot. 
can't get the bucket from 20 feet out. Well, they've been playing some tough defense on him in this period, and it's starting to affect him. This guy's having trouble finding the target right now. Here's the captain. He kicks it to Williams. A second chance effort. Pass to Alexander. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. And that's 13 points for A-Train. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it just feels a lot bigger. That's a perfect example of why good hands are important in basketball. It just misread that pass completely. Gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. The pass to the captain. Doris, this term plus six coming into the lexicon describes a player whose wingspan exceeds his height by at least six inches. I know you've heard that before. Yeah, well, we can think of several players who fit this description of the plus six. Electric young players like Donovan Mitchell, Kawhi Leonard, the claw. The claw extends to his wingspan as well. And then Draymond Green, who in the fourth quarter defensively can seem like a player who's everywhere at every moment. And that's why teams work so hard to get the ball inside, to create those high percentage looks and keep the buckets flowing. And it's a foul called on Doc. That's his third foul of the game. ABC's checked in for the main. Bowden covered by Lee. Bowden the pass to Buckets. Shot clock at five. Dishes to Williams. Shoots. Good D by Lee. He does everything right except drain the shot. Here's Doc. Nails the wide open jump shot. Well, they're really making a point of keeping the ball moving around. That's the key. The D can't focus on one player. And no matter what anybody tells you, that ball will always move quicker than the defender. And the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. It's a flagrant one foul. And, Kevin, that's a pretty dangerous play right there. I mean, I don't like to see a player put an opponent in harm's way. As much as you just saw him do there, Glad they pinned a, a flagrant on. Yeah, you're right, Greg. The officials were all over it. They weren't going to let him off the hook that time. Players going to great lengths to improve their performance and extending their prime years. We're seeing it all over the league. Doris, it amazes me. I heard a number of LeBron James spending seven figures a year. Wow. That's a one in six zeros to take care of his body. No kidding. Right. Making an investment in your future. Understanding nutrition to training to recovery. Listen, you have a limited window, Kevin, to make money with your body if you're a professional athlete. So why you wouldn't want to extend that window as long as possible? You're playing a kid's game for fun, Kevin. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's let's lengthen it out if we can. Here's Big Smooth. Pass to ABC. Connects from three-point range. I'll tell you, they're willing to give him that shot, and he takes advantage of it. Gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Passes it to Buckets. To the paint, Alexander uses both hands to slam it down. And that put a hush over the crowd. Wow, I mean, took these fans out of the game in the blink of an eye. Dock the pass to Big Smooth. 109 left in the fourth. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. When it comes to building confidence doors, some people say playing one-on-ones in practice is a huge help. Is that something that 
you did when you were playing at Providence? Kevin, I believe this could be the single greatest development tool for any individual player. If you start at the free throw line and play one on one against a player who's maybe slightly above your level or certainly at your level and you limit that one on one from the free throw line to two dribbles or less, your skill set, I promise you, is going to develop. Hmm. The other thing I would encourage young players to do is play three on three because it forces you to move and to cut and to screen and how to do those things properly if you're going to be effective. I love one on one, two on two, three on three. It always helps you when you go back to the five on five. That's such great advice. Shot clock at five. Misses the J after tricking the D with the nifty pass fake. To the inside. The pass to Rainman. Kicks to Evans. Pass to Rainman. Here's ABC. Gets the three pointer to fall. And you can see he just caught a glimpse of the open man on the perimeter and immediately got him the basketball. And guys, they can just sit on the ball here if they want to. They have earned this win. Buckets covered by Lee. And so the road team gets the W in this one. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. And that about does it for the first game of the new NBA season. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.